forget to like comment and share with all your friends as well and in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well uh good morning and in this video we are going to look at the one way anova using mini tab so before if you are not familiar with the what is one way anova or what is anova first of all so anova is also known as the analysis of variance and people often do get confused about what is the difference between the ANOVA and the t-test so let us look at first of all the difference between the one way ANOVA and the t-test so the uh, t-test is basically a hypothesis test that is used to compare the mean of two or more populations two populations basically and if you have more than two populations then you use the ANOVA here and ANOVA basically further categorized into two parts. One is your one-way ANOVA, another is your two-way ANOVA. One-way ANOVA has one factor or independent variable, and the two-way ANOVA has two independent variables. So in this case, what we have taken, we have taken the one-way one ANOVA example, and we have three quality inspectors, which is we have mentioned Michelle, we have Kevin, and we have Rob. They are trained to measure the braking strength of a car, seat, fabric, participate in the measurement study. They want to test for the difference between the inspectors by comparing the mean and the variance of the measurement. Each of them collected 25 measurements randomly and all are recorded in the column C2. So let us look at is there a significant difference between the inspectors or not. So we go to stats here. Go to ANOVA, one way ANOVA. Since all our data are recorded in one column, in the column C2, so we will click this option. We will not go for separate options here. We will click on response. So, response is a strength here. What they have, or the three operators have collected. And what are the factors which, which they are going to distinguish is the inspector here. Click on options. You will keep the confidence level as 95. Click the assuming that we have there is equal variance and we'll keep it as a two-sided test as of now. And we'll go to comparison. We will uh, click the test here. So we will give the interval plot for difference in mean and the test result also. And you click OK. So, uh, if you look at the uh, result here, a null hypothesis one that all mean are equal, and alternate was at least one of the mean is different at significance level of 0 0.05, assuming that we have equal variance. So, we did this analysis over here, and with the p value which is coming out is as 0 0.026, which, which is less than your uh, 0 0.05, right. So at this level, we conclude that at least two of the inspectors have different mean strength measurement at alpha equal to 0 0.05. Also, if you come down, your R square is coming out as 9.66%, which means that the inspector's measurement bias explains only 9.66% of the variation in the strength scores. You can also look at from this uh, interval plot. Uh, this is Kevin. This is mean and this is Michelle record and this is Rob and they all are not in straight line ideally this should have been a dead straight line but you can also uh, depict from the picture that they are not uh, uh, at least two of the operators are not having a same measurement here also uh, you can go to this graph and then click uh, control E you will get the audio data back so go to graph here Click on residual plot and click four in one. And click, you will get all the four graphs in one go. Here you can see uh, the, all the variations are recorded in the uh, four graphs. So, this is a normal probability plot, this is versus fit, this is your normal histogram, and this is your uh, observation versus residual.